Well, hello, fellow film fans, and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Tyler's Real Movie Talk. And this is going to be my short review, non-spoiler, of course, of the new film, Upgrade. I'm going to tell you guys what I thought about this movie, what I liked about it, what I was a little mixed on, and everything of that nature. But before we get into all that, I do got to say, if you're a fan of movie talk, movie reviews, and really everything of that nature, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below which will notify you anytime I have any new content coming out. But with that out of the way, let's dive right into this review. So, Upgrade. This is about a mechanic named Gray who lives in this futuristic world that's almost basically ran by technology. And him and his wife one night get attacked, and she ends up getting killed. And no, that is not a spoiler before you guys ask. She ends up getting killed. You see that in the trailer. If you guys haven't seen the trailer, just go see it. She ends up getting killed, and he ends up getting paralyzed. And then a millionaire named Aaron who's really, you know, in this technological world and he's really good with technology and he creates technology. Well, he comes along and he has the technology that is able to fix Gray, meaning that he has technology that if he puts it in his spine, he is able to walk again and everything like that. And the technology is called STEM. But Gray soon figures out that STEM isn't just a technology, it is a artificial intelligence that has insane abilities and can even talk to him, which leads to Gray having insane abilities. So that's really what this movie's about, that's just a overall plot summary of the film. Now, I do gotta say, I knew pretty much nothing about this movie besides just watching the trailer. I've only watched the trailer one time before I went to see this. I heard people really dug it, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go see this. And I gotta say, I expected, like, little to nothing from this film, and I really, really dug this movie. Now, within the first ten minutes or so, you know, it kind of felt weird. The acting felt a little awkward, you know what I mean? It, it didn't f seem to fit. But as the movie went on and on, it definitely fit in more, and I definitely got over that and I definitely realized that the guy playing Gray, Logan Marshall Green, was absolutely fantastic in this movie, and we'll get into more of that later. But this movie, like I said, it was surprising how good this movie was. If I were to tell you that plot, it seems like a simple, simplified, straightforward plot. But really, when you watch this movie and you get into it, it is so much more than just that. I mean, there are unexpected twists, turns that take place in this movie that is really, really fantastic. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed it because of the fact that it wasn't very simple. You know what I mean? So I really enjoyed that about this movie. And really, let's get into the good things about this movie, the things I really enjoyed, because like I said, I absolutely loved this movie. I really want to go see it again. So the things that I really enjoyed were the interactions between STEM, the technology, and Grey. I thought the interactions were fantastic, you know, when STEM is talking to him and Grey kind of has that reaction, like, you know, what's going on? Because that's what everyone would have. You have this thing in your body, and you can hear it talk to you. You know, you would kind of think you were going crazy a little bit, and you would kind of be like what the hell is going on, you know, like, kind of looking around, like, why, like, am I going nuts here, you know, what is this voice in my head, so I thought that was really fantastic, the interactions between them, and I, what I didn't expect about this movie was the interactions between Grey and Stem were really comedic, there was a lot of comedic elements to their interactions, which I really enjoyed about this movie, this movie was funnier than I expected, now, also, like I said earlier, Logan Marshall Green does an outstanding job in this movie. You know, his movement looks and feels like it's robotic, and it's just really, it's really awkward, the movement, but it just looks and feels like robotic, you know what I mean? And just his facial expressions when this stem, you know, basically is, like, taking over and fighting and stuff like that. His facial expressions while he's doing the fighting choreography is fantastic. I mean, I just started to think about it, and I was like, that would be really difficult to pull that that off while you're in a choreography situation and you're fighting and to pull those facial expressions off while you're doing that that would be really hard that is like some legit multitasking which I really enjoyed and I just really enjoyed Logan Marshall Green in this movie I really thought he kicked it out of the park or hit it out of the park in this movie I really enjoyed that now like I said earlier another thing I enjoyed about this movie look the story seems simple but I assure you it is not I mean it takes really unexpected twists and turns and what I mean by that really is this movie is really unpredictable you think it's going one way and then it does a whole 360 and flips that on its head like it like basically knows that the audience it knows what the audience is 
thinking and how they think this is going to go and it flips it on its head and it plays with you a little bit with that so I really enjoyed that part of it as well and you know this movie is so good I really think that this could be a sleeper hit of the year you know a movie that nobody talked about going into it didn't get much marketing didn't get much buzz but you come out of it and you go Holy shit, that was a great movie. I really enjoyed that. So it definitely could be a sleeper hit of the year. And like I said, you know, it's early in the year right now, but I definitely could see this being in my top five movies of the year so far. And then the last great thing about this movie is the action is incredible. Look, the way that the action is directed is absolutely fantastic. And like I said, it gives it that robotic type of feel, which is really fantastic in this movie. I really enjoyed that part. And just the way it's directed, the shots and how the shots are created are absolutely fantastic. I think the director of this film did an absolutely fantastic job. This film is incredible. And like I said... The action is great. Now, it is very violent and very gory, so if you don't like that type of thing, then, you know, especially the action, it's very gory. So if you don't like that type of thing, then maybe this isn't the movie for you. But if you're like me and you do like that sorts of thing, you know, you are going to enjoy this movie and you are going to really enjoy the action of it. And you know what I mean? Just overall thoughts, like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. I really hope that they can do a sequel. I don't know if they can. But I really hope that they can because I think it would be very interesting. Like I said, this is a sleeper hit of the year for me and I really just enjoyed it. I cannot say enough good things about this movie. I literally cannot wait to go see this movie again. But that's my overall thoughts on the movie Upgrade. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys see it. What did you guys think? Did you like it? Why or why not? Do you agree or disagree with some of my takes on it and why or why not? I want to hear all your opinions on this. And if you guys like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up and share it on all your friends. But with all that out of the way, thank you for watching.